If this is what overkill looks like, sign me up. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 18 mods for you for all platforms. We've got 10 new and 4 updates. For console only, we've got 1 new. For a PC and Mac, we've got 1 new and 1 update. And we've already had 1 mod removed out of not even out of those it's just gone <laughs> let's check it out first up today we have the versatile transport trailer by a2 square studio oh man a2's logistics let's go this is well this is the only goose deck trailer that you ever need pretty much <laughs> Not even lying. In here, what do we have? Well, we've got some starting stuff, rim color, everything that you're used to seeing from A2 Square Studio, you've got in here. Stainless steel, dark steel, aluminum, chrome, polished, new silver, scarlet red, pearl white, running out of breath, gun metal, <gasps> blaze orange, nitro blue. Ayo, DJ go him blue. You've also got deep blue, deeper green, deeper yellow, metallic mana too. And then you go into your base game colors. We're just gonna stick with stainless steel because I think it looks good. Main color. Oh, you know we're going to put this on. Nope, nope, nope. Nitro blue. There you go. So everything that's blue, that is going to be your main color. Now, again, I think this looks better at the main color. And then design. What is this going to be? Well, we don't know. Nothing's changed yet. So let's change that to DJ Go Ham Nitro Blue. And we'll figure it out. So wheel brands right here. We have twin axle front. We have twin axle back, which is going to move the wheels back a little bit. You've also got tri axle, which you're going to need. And then you have spread axle, which is kind of neat. And then back to twin axle front. Tell you what, we're going to go with tri axle because we're going to need this. Wheel setups. We have single wheels, standard, which is going to drop some duels on there. We also get Nokian and wide tires. Got to love those T404s, baby. Let's go. Um, I think we're just going to stick with uh, these guys, the standard tires. These look like a two square studios trailers. We're going to leave it there. Tail. This is where we're going to see the blue. So you got that flat deck. You've got ramps. You can see the blue in there. Oh, yeah. We've also got dovetail, which is going to go scoop if you move from the very back. That's going to be pretty cool. And then back to flat deck again. So you've got all of those options right there. I'm a big fan of the ramps. And I like the dovetail too, but I like the ramps. So we're going to stick with the ramps here. Function. We have standard nurse trailer. And then back to standard. What that's going to do is that's going to add liquid fertilizer and seed, I believe. We're going to leave it there. Attacher type. This is cool. Gooseneck or bumper pull. So no longer do you need to use a truck to pull this or a semi-truck. You could use just any tractor in the game. Any tractor in the game. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Now, what do we have past that? Well, we got mud guards. We have standard mud guards. We have back, which got 82's logistics on there. We've got both. And then back to standard. Standard is none, basically standard, or none, rear, and then both. We're gonna stick with both on here. Length, this is the ridiculous part, and I know David's like, why? But I love it anyway. You got a 20 foot, you got a 30 foot, you got a 40 foot, you got a 50 foot, let's go! Yeah, man, 50 foot gooseneck. Why? Because we can. That is the only reason, and I love it. Yes! Down here in extras, we have standard. You also have side rails, which is going to add your side rails on. Just a little bit extra, a little something-something on there. Then, we also get logging poles, so you can whoop, raise up logging poles if you'd like. And then, extensions. So, uh, yeah, the extensions is probably what you want, because it's going to go scoop all the way out. Very cool there. And there you go. That is everything. Now, <laughs> this, is, this thing's ridiculous. Let's lease it. There we go. And I'm gonna pick up a uh, pick up one of the updated TLX, and I'll meet you guys out there. So here we've got what is gonna be soon coming. We've got the Trail Boss, which is the updated version of the TLX. Let's turn on a little bit of a help window here. If I can actually use my KBM switch to use the right controller. There we go. Let's bring this out here, this huge 50 foot train. Goodness gracious. I can't even turn good with it. Goodness gracious. So what do we have? We have so much. I can barely pull out the camera to get all the way out there. So if we have the trailer selected and we press L1 or left bumper. We're gonna get unfold trailer. So 
you can see we unfold here. This is gonna change depending on what options you have installed. I like the extensions. These will fit a wider range of vehicles for you to be able to put on the back. So I prefer the extensions. Yes, you could put this on any length of trailer that you want. You've also got open cover. So we'll open that cover and that's going to open up our sides here. So that's pretty cool. We'll go in and we'll figure out what that holds here in a second. And then we have lift front loader arm. What's that gonna do? That's going to open up the very back. Boom, drops it there. And now we can bring vehicles on and off depending on how we like. Now if we hold right bumper or RB on here. We get fasten, unfasten tension belts. So we've got tension belt support. We've also got open front loader tool. Oh, what does that do? That is going to raise and lower your gooseneck. Now, of course, you're not going to have that option if you don't have the gooseneck installed, but I mean, look at this thing. You definitely want that installed. And then right up and down. One second, I believe that's moving stuff with the truck. Hmm. I don't see anything moving. It's probably, oh yeah, it's, it's my light bar on the truck. Ignore me. And then if you've got everything, you can see unload here. Well, we don't have anything in, so there's no way to unload anything. And then if we hold right up and down, is that gonna do anything for us? And likely, I think that's gonna have to do with the truck itself. So there's everything with that. Let's select, let's go to F11. Now let's figure out what we've got. So we fill unit one, we've got seeds. And fill unit two, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, back and forth between those. So now you can see we've got seeds under there. That's cool. So that's just like the first TLX trailer that came, or TLX, the first 82's logistics trailer that came out. Look at that. <laughs> hey, 50 G and HD 48 foot, or a 48 inch spread axle torque tube equipped. That's really cool, man. That is really cool. Oh, that is awesome, bro. That is super cool. So now you can see we're holding 2,000 liters of liquid fertilizer and 2,600 liters of seed, making getting stuff from point A to point B maybe just a little bit easier. That's all. I tell you what, I love it. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <laughs> I abused it just a little bit. You guys have got to get this trailer. It is absolutely amazing. It's one of the coolest things that i've ever seen it's a it's a 50 foot come on don't ask for anything more. <laughs> i think it's just way too long i love it yes next up making our way into the lizard 1200 gallon side quest tanks these are available as a demco version i believe but only from the custom modding facebook page so if you guys want that go check that out there the way these work is they hook into your wheels. Now you can't use triples and I've tried, it just doesn't work. You've got to use duels, maybe singles. I don't know. I haven't even checked to see if you can do singles yet. Maybe we will do that. They say with these consists of two six gallon side tanks for tractor mounting, the extended rear axle spindle mounts allows weight to be shifted to the rear, relieving stress on the tractor's front axle and chassis. These tanks longitudinal mounting design and location provide excellent operator visibility, reduce stress to the tractor and deliver performance on your farming operation. So we've got main color here. We could change these from yellow to white and silver. I think the yellow looks good. We'll go with that. And then design color. This is actually going to be your hoses on the very bottom. So you could change them up to something that's very unassuming, or you can go crazy and go with some bright green ones like I've preferred. These are super cheap, 21,090 bucks for these. Um, color's not gonna cost you anything, I don't believe. Yeah, color's free. So go for it, change color all you want. Um, it does say a whole, say 4,543 liters. And you say, DJ, when would I use this? I don't understand if I've got to use a big tractor for liquid fertilizer, I'm not going to be spraying with a big tractor. Well, you might be surprised. They're actually working on some stuff right now, especially like the John Deere planters. We've got a couple other planters in game that require a fertilizer, a liquid fertilizer. Let's see. I know. Let's see. Is it this one? Yeah, this guy right here. So the Great Plains YP4025A, this actually requires liquid fertilizer. So if you're running through, boom, there you go. And it is good. So let's, um, let's grab a few of these. I already have one out in the game. And let's, um, uh, let's figure out exactly what we can use it on. Because we've got, I think, two tractors that are usable in game already. 
but there's more coming. The two different versions of tractors that will work with these tanks in game is the Case IH AFS Connect Magnum that we received yesterday, the update, and then the update to the John Deere 2018 8R from Custom Modding. This is released today. We're going to talk about this a little bit later on. However, we've got our tanks here, just same tanks, and I've got multiple different wheel options. You can see we got some tracks. I've got uh, wider twins, more narrow twins reverse that and then we've got kind of the same thing going on here with the john deere we've got some twins in the back trips in the back big old good years and then singles so let's just go through and let's see what's going to work with these and what's not because i know you guys are very curious so i got to do drive straight up through i think this is going to work just fine yep hook it in and you can see right there we've got it working it actually has those uh the hub extensions on the side so this is going to work just fine looks like no problem whatsoever running with the uh, narrow single tires. Okay, not too bad there. Well, let's drop that off and <laughs> make our way through here. Let's use these big old boys because I love these wheels, but I don't think that this is going to work. It might. Don't hit the sides. Don't hit the sides. All right, hook up. Well, um, yeah, it works. So does it extend it all? Nope. Nope. It's just... It's just there so it does work and it hooks right in as well check that out dude okay all right all right i get it i get it i spent what you stepping in that works perfect you could either pull straight through or just back right up and you'll be good now this is the part where i'm like all right this just isn't gonna work the triples because i don't think this is gonna work i tried it earlier it's just way too far out the thing is, too, <laughs> all you do is push it. I've tried sitting this on the very top. It doesn't work. But one thing, I, one idea I just got. What if we try and, like, back into it somehow? I think we're just going to end up pushing it around. Yeah, we're just pushing it around. And you can't weasel your wheels in there. So rear trips, even though this came with the update, they will not work. Good to know. And then probably what a lot of you guys are going to be using, just standard dual wheels on this i think this is going to work just fine actually i know this is going to work just fine one thing to remember though when you're pulling up make sure you are dead center if not you'll start pushing this thing around boom there you go that is a perfect fit now i want to make our way over to the case mods that we got because it does work with this but i don't know which ones it works with so we're going to try a couple this first one is uh the row track with singles in the front Let's see, we gotta get right in between. There we go. Hey, there we go. Where's it hooking into? Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. So, does it work? Yes, is it realistic? I mean, if you're down, I like it. So, there you go, it will work with that. It looks like as long as you can get in there, it's gonna work. And then we've got a couple different things here. We can bump over to it. So we have a more skinnier and then a more wider dual. Are these going to work? Let's pull forward and find out. So this is the more narrow set of duals. Works just fine, but it looks like there's not a whole lot of room left. But it works, so that's good. So let's unfold. We'll pull through, pull away. And then lastly, the wider duals. I think this is the 36 inch spread versus the 30 inch spread we might have some fitment issues here i think this is just going to push it around yeah we're just we're just kind of pushing it around could you force it Boy, get out of there might be able to force this to work i don't i don't think that's it <laughs> yeah yeah that's not gonna that's not going to work at all, is it? Negative. Looks funny, though, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, there it goes! Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard Uniport 2000 Plus. This is a brand new self-propelled sprayer. It is very, very orange. <laughs> be nice to change this color up a little bit. Nonetheless, it has 126 horsepower. You don't need a whole lot when you're spraying. Holds 200 liters of fuel, goes 24 miles per hour, holds only 2,000 liters of spray. So 
just know that ahead of time and you can see right here it will see what 12 miles per hour max speed working so that's pretty good standard stuff there 24 meter spread it holds uh liquid fertilizer and herbicide ignore this this is a pc mod there you go there's really not a whole lot to it it's just this is what it is 24 meter working with 12 mile per hour sprayer i think there's trailed sprayers that will hold more than this actually i know there are but hey if you like it go for it next new mod for all platforms is going to be the modern pigs barn this guy right here is interesting because it's got a feed mixer in here now i don't know if this is going to work you can look down in there and it's it's pig food down in there so i'm guessing your pig food's gonna go in there your straw goes over here it's gonna go in right there and if we come around you can see right here is where you're going to buy your pigs slurry water i think that's everything yeah pigs get to run around outside this is manure system support ready if you are on pc so you could do that get a nice little run around thing it looks good you know it's by black sheep modding black sheep mining always makes really good stuff this is just cool got little switches everywhere it's it is it's nice it's a very modern pigs barn yeah yeah next up we have the lizard grade ih this is a brand new yep there it is disc hero not cultivator like it says online this is what's well, a 61 horsepower require 2.2 meter 10 mile per hour working speed disc hero no customization whatsoever and the price is extremely high twenty one thousand dollars goodness gracious i think the leasing price may should be the purchase price on this one next up we have the new holland tc 5070 and the very feed 20 foot header which is going to be found in headers this guy right here has 215 horsepower holds 270 liters of fuel goes 15 miles per hour has a 5,000 liter capacity and it looks really good it's very very unique i like that wheel setups here we've got standard which are big old chonky boys you've also got lizard which looks to be a midas tire maybe a firestone yeah those are definitely firestone and then we've got doubles as well those are going to be your michelin tires so there you go basically a standard trelleborg tire these kind of look i mean i know they're firestone but they kind of don't look for you know they're definitely fire stalls anyway engine setup here you've got standard design one which is going to give you 215 horsepower so you're going from boom to boom then we go to design two which is going to give you 223 horsepower or you could change that up again and go to 240 horsepower so basically you've got multiple different versions of the two designs it does change the design which is neat but you get that extra horsepower not too bad 16,000 extra bucks plus this is extremely cheap to begin with $40,000 or $41,000 base upgrade the engine upgrade your wheels you're looking at around 60 grand for a combine that's that's awesome and if you're curious here is what your header is going to look like as well 7.6 meters 6 mile per hour working speed nothing crazy or out of the ordinary there the header is actually almost as expensive as the combine is this thing's 32 grand next up we have the field barn this is a barn used for storing vehicles and equipment or for storing straw and hay as well it is seasons ready it's going to cost you fifty thousand dollars at five dollars per day it's a very good looking shed at that the interior looks really nice put your bells in there put your equipment in there back it all in and you are good to go this actually looks nice i like this next up a mod that we talked about either late last week or early this week in farm sim news the brick shed pack italian style by black eyes modding the creators of ischia farm this is a pack of placeable brick sheds in the italian style available in open or closed versions price is nine thousand dollars daily upkeep 10 bucks per day and the pack will be expanded in future updates that is awesome your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the root crop storage by west modding this is a place for all of your earth crops so it's going to be for your potatoes and sugar beets this is really cool this is kind of almost getting into like not a global company but this is unique for sure so with this you have to enter the silo and open the discharge pipe in order to get anything out to select the fruit press o key with the silo and with well, o key uh select the fruit um yeah we have pipe one and two we'll explain that and the capacity is going to be 250,000 liters maintenance is 45 bucks per day it shouldn't be rotated 100 degrees place only in self-level terrain 
filling quantity is not displayed in the menu. Really? Okie dokie. Well, let's go through and let's see if we can cheat anything in. No. Oh, wow. No, we can't. No silos. Really? Huh. I wonder what's going on here. So it shows nothing. Why would... Why would we... No. What? That doesn't make any sense. So you can't see what's going on and you can't look in your silos to see what's up. Well, that just seems like it doesn't it make any sense all right whatever let's get some testing stuff going on and let's see what we can do with this let's try this bad boy out and see exactly what's going on so we got some taters let's see nothing in the first one do we get a tip here yep we do get a tip here that's cool z think show all right that looks pretty cool we got our 250,000 liters not too bad let's back it up over here and let's see what we get for sugar beet so sugar beet Select, good, unload. I'm sure that's gonna refill. Yep, all right, that's pretty neat. Cool. So now all we have to do is empty that and then we pull right here in the middle. Still not showing there. I do not like that. Call me crazy. All right, let's get in this thing. So now we're in the silo, you can see. It's holding everything. It does show on the readout, or at least what it's doing. Actually, it shows 25,000 and then an extra zero. So maybe that needs to be done something with. So we are extending out right now. So this is going to be our sugar beet. So whatever's first in line there. So one. And as soon as it goes out, it starts dumping. Just know that in advance. And then we can change it up and go to potatoes. Don't freak out. It's not going to do that on you guys. The tipper just holds literally everything. Unload speed not crazy fast um that you, you're gonna be sitting there for a while granted you're not gonna be running a ton anyway i mean we got 20,000 liters out there looks like maybe it's running 1,000 liters a second something like that is it cool yeah i just don't like that it doesn't show you what's going on with it so that's my only complaint of course you can see it from here and all that good stuff naturally you know you're dumping in something it's neat it's different but yeah i still prefer just a normal silo i apologize i'm sorry west Modding. oh and you better be careful um if you just pull away <laughs> it just keeps dumping ah and then you get in and it does that all right not bad Neato. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Oink Ink Waste Card for all your garbage needs. Boom. Oh, don't, don't drop it. Don't, don't, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm walking way too fast. Boom. <laughs> Let's pull up our help window. Do we see anything? I'm just seeing a pickup object, throw object. No, 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 no. Gotcha. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's going to cost you 100 bucks. Daily upkeeps is a dollar per day, and it is a trash can pick it up move it around do whatever you want with it winking i love it oh how high can i throw this bring it on strongest person in the world making our way into mod updates for all platforms today first off we have rdc fs19 this is going to be change log 1.5 summer has arrived spring brought us many rainy and cloudy days which made it difficult for us to work our fields and we lost crop no now comes summer with many sunny days with new texture changes in crops and livestock and new modifications incorporated you can continue with your save game that is really really cool so with this one we've got some texture changes spring flowers have disappeared they've added a red light to high voltage towers on the dam as well they've also changed the color of the high voltage towers now they reflect the sunlight giving more realism they've touched up some textures and objects renamed alfalfa cultivation it has now been changed to lucerne and to alfalfa to generalize it they've also renominated salt and mineral salts it is more correct and visually it is better they've also touched up to improve performance they've touched up the stables garage and workshop touched up the mod itself rdc and the mod trailer to transport chickens as well as many many other things if you guys want to check that out go check out the full description at the farming simulator mod hub website we'll leave a link to that down in the description below and as we talked about earlier in the video we've got an update to the john deere 8r us series by custom modding this is going to be changed log 
2. Steering wheel animations, realistic starting animations, front hydraulic support for the John Deere H480 front loader. You also have American Decal Starfire 6000 receiver, Gen 4 extended monitors, John Deere badges and stickers for the 100th anniversary celebration, protection grill for headlights, beacon options, and they've added a rock box by request. Your next to last mod update for all platforms is the John Deere 9600-9610 Combine by Sid Modding. This is changelog 1.002, fixed the wheels and added new wheel configurations. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Deutz for Agritron 128-150.6. Version 1.1, oh man, we're already at 1.1. Improved texture quality for interior and exterior. Added Michelin tires, added the Trailboard TM 1060s, added the Allo console for the front loader. Also added, I don't know what word that is, <laughs> integration for hydraulic hoses? I don't, I don't, that's not English. And a PTO, also general bug fixes. Information, the upper front lights were reported as not working. They are functional as a high beam. Making our way into mods for console only. We've got an update for you, and this is to the Lizard TB pack. This is version number two. It has added the TB12, so you got a new trailer. Also, mesh fixes, added a high hitch option, fixed the forage harvester not filling correctly, and beacon configuration option has been added. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First is Neater Saxon's Lensons Land. And um, yeah, we've already done a video on this. This is not a new map. I believe that it was removed for some problems and has been resubmitted and it is now back. So if you were looking for it for whatever reasons, ta -da! it's back. And your last mod today, a mod update for PC and Mac players. This is going to be the Polish Fertilizers Palettes. <laughs> I feel like we get enough of these already. This is version 1.3. Added a Salamag and refreshed the textures to the Celtrosen 26. Ba boom. Now we do have one honorable mention, however. This was released a little bit earlier, but has since been removed from the mod hub. I believe this was PC only. I'm not completely sure, but I believe this was PC only. I was able to get it. This is one of those very few chances and opportunities where a mod releases and then it was quickly taken away so i always say try and be as quick on it as you possibly can um yep yeah, man tgs 18 series we got a six by six here and we've got another six by six here with a few capacities and things like that i don't know why this was removed but i'm gonna see what i can find out and i will let you guys know either in a post later today or possibly farm some news tomorrow but hey if you got it great but I'm not really sure what's up with it. So if you know, hey, let me know down in the comment section below. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.